What's up guys, in today's video, we're going to be um, removing a cam with the heads on. So we will need two 5 16 wooden dowel rods. That will just keep the lifters up in the trays so that way we don't have to worry about one of them falling down into the oil pan or anything like that. So yeah, two 5 16 and you'll use these two holes on either side. So how we're gonna do is we're just gonna use this bolt to rotate the cam. That'll help throw the lifters up into the trays. And then we'll just slowly start feeding the wooden dowel rods in and we'll start removing the cam that way. Um, if you do get like, say you get halfway in and it kind of gets stuck, you'll just spin the cam while giving a little bit of pressure forward, throw that tray up in the air, and then hopefully that dowel rod will slide right past it and hold the lifters up into the tray. So we're gonna get to it. We're gonna spin this cam, insert these dowel rods and get that cam removed. All right, so we're gonna spin the cam, get the lifters up in the tray, like so. Then you're just gonna feed them in until they bottom out at the back of the block. Do the same with the passenger side. So that one's hanging up right there, so we're just gonna put a little pressure on it. Spin it until it goes all the way through. Sorry, my son got a four-wheeler that has a horn on it. So now that that's there, we can start removing the cam. Just take it nice and slow. You don't want to ding up the bearings. And that's how you remove a cam. What the dowel rods do is they just hold the lifters up into the tray. Um, sometimes if it's a lower mileage motor, the trays will hold them by themselves. This is just that extra security. That way you don't drop a lifter. You have to pull the heads to reinstall said lifter. So if you like the video guys, like, comment, subscribe. This one's super short, but we'll catch you on the next one.